Hello everyone. So this is now part 3B and I've decided to go to the grand organ of St. Elizabeth in Augsburg itself, so the center of the diocese. And um, <clears throat> this is a magnificent organ. Um, it has a bit of a crayon look to it, but that too can be rather attractive uh, the way it's designed. Um, it's uh, one of the best organs I've ever um, worked with on a, on a more regular basis. And um, it uh, is fully mechanic, uh, but has lots of romantic registers and also some beautiful, beautiful Baroque and classical registers in it. Uh, it's a very, very thick sound possible and a very well-defined sound possible and beautiful trumpets and uh, it's just a magnificent organ. So I'm going to do the final improvisation um, here on this organ. Due to the lack of time I can't invest as much color and registration as I would love to. That would take a much bigger setup. Um, also I must add beforehand I'm going to use um, one of the two 32 subfoot um, pipes um, uh, with it, which will not cut through in the recording. It's impossible that the little camera mic can actually give you even a remotely close impression of the presence of all of these sounds, the, the real physicality of it, which is a great loss. And so um, it won't be as colorful as, as it ought to be. But I will be using the theme pom 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 in minor rather than major tum tia ta team. Um, and use many of the techniques that I have been using all in a late romantic style, sometimes slipping into rather modern style. So um, buckle up and let's see what we can do.